Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Sarah, and here's her story. Hi, Ollie. I'm watching your videos and began wondering something maybe you can answer. Seems like these narcs want us dead most of the time and sometimes try to passive-aggressively kill us. Like the lady from the last video you just did, turning the oil thing upside down in hopes it would catch on fire. So my question is, why would these monsters not have just killed us as infants and blame it on Sid? Most people back then would have gotten away with it. It's just weird that they wait until we're older to try to kill us all, but ultimately fail. Thanks, Sarah. You know, <clears throat> because, you know, know what I think? Because... I've asked that, like, why didn't you just kill me? A lot of different reasons. First off, it's too easy. Okay? To and secondly, to physically kill somebody with your bare hands, an infant, I mean, it takes a level of depravity to do that. To actually physically cause the death of an infant child, your own. That raise, that rises to a level of of psychopath, sociopath that that few can achieve. Some do, but few achieve that. Um, thank God. Because in, remember, with the narcissist, a lot of times it's about the challenge as well. What challenge does? an infant really, really um, show. There's no, there's no challenge there. The real problems usually start later on when you start developing into who you are, a personality, and to, to strike out at an infant child, um, that's, a, that, that's a big need for, for attention. To physically cause the death of your own child takes a level of depravity. Now, I'm not saying a lot of them aren't capable of it, because that's why you asked the question. Because you know they end up being capable of it, but at the time they might not realize it. Some are afraid of the consequences. Some, it's just not worth getting caught. You know, narcissist never wants to face consequences. But my mother, you know, I would, I, the only reason I'm not dead is because I had a fear of, of getting caught, I believe. That, that, that would be it with her, you know. Other times, it's time and opportunity. Right place, right time, right set of circumstances, right thought pattern in their head, and boom, who knows? Who knows? I've thought that so many times, like, why didn't they just kill me? You know, but when you really think about what it takes to kill an infant, you know, these narcissists are about the mental challenge. And what kind of mental challenge does an infant have? Unless she's completely postpartum and out for total attention on, on, the, on themselves. Now, that's not to say that a lot of them don't want to end up wanting us dead. And I think a lot of their anger might come from the fact that they didn't kill us when they had the chance. Now that they think about it, and you're big, and you can talk back, and you can tell. And then they think back to when you were an infant. It's like it would have been so easy to just place that pillow over your face. I think more or less, it's if they knew then what they know now, then you might have been dead. It might have been something that simple. A lot of times it is. And a lot of times that might be what motivates them to continue it because they're fucking pissed off. Could have been rid of you. When I had the chance. Not only should I not have had you. Uh, there was actually a way to get out of it. And kind of make it look like. Oh just Sid sudden infant death syndrome. Let's put a pillow or some, something horrific. 
if they knew then what they knew now, what they know now, you might not be here. So I think ultimately that might be the real answer. So thank you for your contribution. Thank you for your question. I appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype chat, phone call, have a private video made, Facebook chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video for someone else who can't pay, or just contribute to the channel in general, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. And if you're still unclear, wait for the final instructional video link to pop up on this video. It'll walk you through all of that. Please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Bye.